How many of you uh, were uh, around Newark in the 40s and 50s? Let me just see a show of hands. How many of you were around here in the 40s and 50s? That was a long time ago. Does that make you 50? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was born in uh, what was, I think, called Rose Community Hospital. Is that right? In 1940. And uh, my grandpa had built uh, or founded a store downtown, right on the corner of West Main Street and um, East Miller Street, is that right? Called Chapey's Store. It was one of these old department stores, you know. And they had these little things, these wires that went up to the second floor, you remember that? And people would give their money and they'd pull on this cable and then this thing would shoot up this wire to the people who made the change and they'd come back down again. And that was quite a fancy thing, I thought. We had a great downtown back then. We had uh, Barker Brothers Hardware Store and Wolk's Apparel and Freddie Lombrezo had his hobby shop there. I used to have my eyes up against the window thinking what heaven would be like if I could just have one of those P40s, you know. But um, we lived over on Pearson Avenue, 309 Pearson Avenue, and I spent all my childhood there till about 1961, I think. And uh, Pearson Avenue was just a dirt road then. And my next door neighbor, David Bailey, and I, we used to try to grab beans and peas off the farm trucks coming by, taking them down to the canning factory, you know. We didn't get a whole lot, but we had a good time. And I went to Perkins School, and I used to roller skate to school a lot. And I remember one February morning freezing my tongue to that iron railing, you know, and <laughs> that uh, runs across the bridge. It comes across uh, the creek down from Hall uh, Halligan's Pond, I think it was called, yeah. I had some great teachers there. Miss LaRue, anybody have Miss LaRue? Uh, Miss Stoddard, I, she was kind of, well. <laughs> but uh, then uh, grew up a little and went to junior senior high school and we had uh, Don Hess was the principal and um, Floyd Green was the football coach and Cedric Tebow, he was the basketball coach and we had some good basketball teams and Canandaigua was our nemesis in Lions. Of course, we didn't like Lions a whole lot either. <laughs> Canandaigua, they had this kid called Dave Farnsworth, who was 6'8", I think. At that time, that was pretty big. And uh, boy, I, I just couldn't stand to watch those games with Canandaigua. I'd go in the locker room and, and hide out. It was too much emotional stress for me. But um, there were some wonderful teachers at that school. I don't know how many of you have ever bumped into any of them, but we had Prof Munson. Remember, anybody remember Prof Munson? Miss Bain, he taught my dad. And uh, Mr. Hill, I think, and several other really good teachers we had. And uh, class of 58, Newark uh, High School. And uh, we had people like Jimmy Marshall, who uh, died in Vietnam, and uh, oh, Bob Glines, Susan Sessions, Just saw Susan a couple of weeks ago. She looks good. We saw uh, Jimmy, um, who am I trying to think of? Uh, Ann Mangan. Anybody ever remember Ann Mangan? Wonderful person. Just some great people around Newark. And, and, and I, was so, I feel so blessed that I could grow up in this town. It was just a wonderful place to grow up. Worked at the Penny Saver for a while and I think Harold Van Dusen was one of the first people who really gave me a chance, you know, and I had a wonderful season at the Newark Penny Saver and worked with some really fine people and learned a lot about work. When I went off to Syracuse University, I came back and downtown was gone, you know, that kind of broke my heart, but this is my hometown and I'm proud to be from Newark. Well, uh, I heard a lot of people here, you know, a few people. I was a selfish brat, you know, and I did some things that were really pretty nasty. I thought, well, I should come back and I should seek their forgiveness and tell them I'm sorry for the pains that I inflicted on them. But the Bible says, I guess, sometimes it's better to leave those sleeping dogs alone. But uh, I wish I had treated a few people differently. But I'm real thankful, and uh, life does throw you some curves. There's no doubt about it. And it's fine to say, cheer up, my brother, live in the sunshine. We'll understand that all by and by, but still our heart just aches sometimes. And through it all, we've got the best friend a person could ever ask for. 
in Jesus Christ. And I'd like to sing this little song to Newark, New York. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. Thank you. 